Hello Cheapskaters, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. If you're not already subscribed to our channel, please hit that subscribe button. It helps our channel grow, but it helps you too, because you'll be notified every time we upload a video or go live. The annoying thing that clothes, backpacks, towels, shoes, handbags and just about everything else we have in our lives have in common is that they are not made to last forever. Go figure. But sooner or later, you'll need to replace them because constant wear and tear will have... Um, pretty much made them unusable or unpresentable. So while renewing your wardrobe and your accessories might give you a really nice, pleasant feeling of a fresh start, the costs involved in the process can be enough to overshadow the bliss. Eventually, we have to pay those bills. So how do we fix the problem? Well, the answer is fix the clothes and as with most problems wear and tear tends to become worse if you ignore it or ignore them if however you take a few minutes to repair the damaged items as soon as you notice the first sign of degradation the first button that's hanging loose or a bit of hem that's hanging down you might be able to save quite a lot of money in the long run not to say quite a lot of frustration too and to you know perhaps postpone the painful moment of saying goodbye to your favorite jacket or your favorite backpack or your favorite pair of shoes now is it easier said than done yeah, well not necessarily it doesn't actually even require outstanding organizational skills or advanced craftsmanship fixing the problem as soon as you notice it will just help to keep everything in tip-top shape as long as possible so much like we do the dishes straight after dinner or we make the bed as soon as we get up in the morning fixing things straight away works now that includes things like treating stains as soon as they happen or as soon as you notice them on your clothing or the tablecloth or whatever the longer you leave something with a stain the harder it is to shift now on our website we have a handy dandy stain removal chart if you're not sure how to clean up a stain i also have a recipe for my super fantabulous stain removing soap and i'll put the links to those underneath me stitching loose buttons back on or replacing missing buttons immediately keeps the garment in circulation now a great little tip is for buttons that get a lot of use use dental floss to sew it back onto the garment and then dab the front and the back with clear nail polish that button will stay where it is meant to be forever Taking up loose hems isn't hard. If you do it as soon as you notice they're starting to fall, it only takes a couple of minutes and all you need is a needle and matching thread. I'm not sure how to do a hemming stitch. Well, you can either YouTube it because there's a gazillion YouTube videos that will show you how to take up a hem or buy some iron-on hemming tape from the haberdashery aisle of the supermarket or Spotlight or Lincraft or your local fabric store and you won't need to sew. You just know how need to know how to plug the iron in. And on that note, you can buy iron-on patches to match all types of fabric too. So you don't need to throw out the school pants because Junior's gone through the knee. Just buy a patch in matching fabric, trim it to the size of the um hole and iron it on 
You can also use iron-on patches to reinforce the knees of track pants and sports uniform pants. I do them in Wayne's work pants because he's on his knees a lot of the time, drilling and stuff. And they are especially useful, you know, for school and sports uniforms. I cannot say how much money they saved us with our boys' uniform pants. You can fix sticky zippers by running a candle up and down the teeth and then zipping it up and zipping it down a couple of times. It works like a charm to stop the sticking and could save you having to replace a broken zipper. Now, this is especially handy for jeans and trousers that have the metal zippers. None of these things takes a lot of skill. None of them require complicated tools. All you need is a basic repair kit and a small, um, a small box or basket or something to keep everything together and neat. Now, I have a... Um, a toolbox that I've had since I was about 13 or 14 because my dad gave it to me that is my sewing box it's handy because it's got little compartments in it to keep all the bits and bobs stored neatly but anything any container with everything in one place keep it all corralled together will work $2 shops carry them if you have to buy it $2 shops have them and that is worth the investment. But before you spend money, look around your home. Do you have a biscuit tin that's not being used or a fancy soap box or something that you can use? And while you're thinking about that, think about what you can put into it. So cotton in basic colours, black, white, navy, cream, dark green. They're pretty good basics to start with. A reel of strong cotton in a neutral colour, I would go for a quilting cotton because it's really tough. A packet of sewing needles, a packet of upholstery needles. Now, it sounds really weird, but they are so handy for fixing the straps on luggage and backpacks and stitching up the seams in runners when they come undone. A tin of dressmaker's pins. Now, I actually prefer quilting pins. To dressmakers pins simply because I'll show you if I can take the lid off without spilling them they are and without sticking myself they are nice and long they are a good um, two and a half 25 mil long it might even tell me on the box no it doesn't but they are really handy. I should show colours because black and white won't stand out, will they? But there you go. These pins are quilters pins. So they're nice and long. Perfect for dressmaking or pinning anything in place, actually. And much um, sharper than your dressmaker pins. Spotlight, Lincraft, quilting shops. You'll get them anywhere. The other thing that is... Um, worth having good scissors good fabric scissors now it's important they are expensive good fabric scissors are expensive so you might have to save up to get them i have had these ones for close to 40 years i do get them sharpened but they are for fabric and fabric only my family knows do not touch mum's scissors for anything else. And I only cut fabric with them. Buttons. Keep your button jar handy. Let me just grab a drink. Keep your button jar handy. And as you recycle shirts and trousers and skirts and dresses, anything with buttons, cardigans, jumpers, Take the buttons off if it's not going to be reused as a garment and put them in your button jar. Then you will always have a button to sew on the shirt, even if it doesn't match. If it's going to be down the bottom where the shirt's tucked in, cut off one of the buttons down there and swap it out. 
if you keep um, iron on patches like I said before keep those in your sewing kit and a small candle for running up and down those zippers you will be able to fix just about anything that comes your way but when you're fixing something do it properly do it in such a way as to ensure that it is going to last long enough because otherwise you're just wasting time like it would be easy to sticky tape up the hem or staple the straps of the backpack together and that might work for a couple of days but that's not the kind of solution that you actually want it's not the solution you should be aiming for don't be lazy fix the problem straight away and fix it properly and you won't need to fix it again it's like do it right the first time and it is done look i know you won't be able to fix everything um, yourself we just can't we're none of us that multi-talented you know for broken shoe heels and other things like that you'll you might need to go to a cobbler or a shoe repair booth or the specialist um, service to get whatever it is repaired it won't be free but it could well cost you less than buying a new pair of shoes and save perfectly good shoes from going to landfill until they are absolutely truly worn out Prepare your all-purpose repair kit now and you can stop worrying about having to replace things too often. We're all really, 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 really conscious of how much we're spending at the moment. We're all really, really conscious of rising prices and shortages. So look after what we have. Look after what you have. Repair it as soon as it needs to be repaired or do some regular maintenance before it actually needs to be repaired, as in polish those shoes when you wear them and put the button back on as soon as it gets loose, that sort of thing. And you'll save money, you'll save time and you'll save energy you'll also save a lot of frustration too thank you so much for watching if you're not already a subscriber to our channel click that subscribe button below me then click the bell and select how often you want to be notified of new videos on our channel it helps youtube but more importantly it helps our channel to be recognized more easily and the more easy it is to find us the easier it is to spread the message that it is not only okay to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing, but it can still be done, even in today's crazy world. Happy cheapskating, everyone, and have a great day.